That's a good look. It's a male. Three eighty one. It's a big male. No, 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 you'd be fine. Well, I hope it. Keeps going. Yeah. Unit of an animal. <laughs> Burrito. My name is Sila Shimun. I'm a research ecologist with Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute. There has been a lot of research done on black-tailed prairie dogs, but everything we know about them is what they do above ground. And these animals spend about 70% of their time below ground, and we have no idea what's going on down there. We're out here in American Prairie on the Sun Prairie Unit, where we're studying black-tailed um, prairie dogs. This is what they designate as the future black-footed ferret reintroduction site. The reason that it's called that is because black-footed ferrets are obligatory to prairie dogs. They used to exist here and went extinct. And now American Prairie is slowly growing the prairie dog colonies to enough acreage to have black-footed ferrets being reintroduced here in the future. Prairie dogs are considered ecosystem engineers. That means that they create habitat for other species. In the case of prairie species, we're talking about hundreds of species. Birds, insects, other predators, plant species. A lot of them rely on prairie dogs digging in the soil. Typically, when we track animals, we use GPS tags. So those are devices that communicate with satellites. In order to do that, you have to be above ground and see the sky. Prairie dogs, though, again, spend 70% of their time underground. So we have to be creative on how to track them and how to find out what they're doing in that hidden world underground. So we paired up and we're collaborating with a lab at Swansea University that has been developing tags 
that use something that's kind of similar to a Fitbit. So the watches that we use that track our movements, the way that we walk, when we run, jump, kind of looking at our behaviors on a day-to-day. -day. From that, we can start reconstructing trajectories, reconstructing the paths that these prairie dogs are doing underground. We'll be able to see interactions. We'll be able to learn about behavior. We'll also be able to learn about the conditions inside the burrows because we have other sensors like relative humidity and temperatures on these tags. All that information that is currently unknown. This week was the first time that we actually deployed collars on prairie dogs in the wild. Um, we set up traps um, for the past two weeks. We pre-braided them. We were very successful in trapping these prairie dogs. We put the trackers on them and we let the prairie dogs run around with, the track, with these trackers for a few days to a week. Um, so this is a test phase. Now we have collected all that data. Just by looking at the data, it seems like um, the trackers have been working really well. So we're very keen on starting to analyze to reconstruct these trajectories. It seems very promising. Imagine you were a researcher in the Amazon and you're trying to study that ecosystem and the only thing that you look at is the ground without looking at the trees. You're missing out on everything that's happening in that forest. The same is true for the prairie. A lot of what's happening is actually happening underground. The root system of the grasses go as deep as 20 feet. So do the prairie dog burrows and all the creatures that live in there. This research has been made possible by the Paul G. Allen Family Foundation and thanks to all of our partners, Fort Belknap Indian Community and American Prairie.